What up everybody, Ted Carr here, and in today's video, I wanna to talk to you about a really misunderstood part of the online entrepreneurship equation, and that is the market research phase of launching a new product, launching a new service. So, it's often talked about by many gurus out there that you should do market research when you're starting out with launching your new business, whether it's a product or service, maybe it's an ebook or video course, a coaching program, or consulting program, whatever, they tell you to do a lot of market research. They tell you to like get on calls with people and talk to them and ask them about what problems they're having and what sort of help they want and all sorts of, all sorts of things like that. And <clears throat> what ends up happening, and that, there's nothing wrong with doing that by the way, but what ends up happening is most entrepreneurs, they hear that and they just put it off. They don't end up calling anyone because they don't know who to call. And once they do call someone, they don't even know what to talk about on the phone. And they don't even know how to get someone on the call in the first place. Like, what do they say? Like, hey, can I interview you and ask you about your desires and your problems? Like, they don't even know how to go about doing that. So it's a really big sticking point. I see a lot of entrepreneurs getting stuck at this point, And they're just not progressing beyond it. They procrastinate. And then months go by. And they're like, yeah, I still haven't launched my program. And I say, why not? They say, well, I'm still in the market research phase. So I hear this so often. So in this video, I want to break down how to actually do market research. Okay? First thing. You don't need to do that much market research. If you pick the right result to help people get. What do I mean by that? Well, there's not like an infinite amount of things, there's not an infinite amount of results that people want. People really only want generally three or four things. People are gonna spend money online if it's gonna get them one of these three or four things, okay? People will spend money on getting highly desirable, quantifiable end results. So if you can come up with a highly desirable, quantifiable end result, you don't need to do that much market research. You know people want that. So I'll tell you what a few of those, these highly desirable, quantifiable end results are. Number one, super obvious, it's looking sexier. It's looking fitter. It's weight loss. It's muscle building. It's just looking very attractive. People love beauty. Okay, so that's the first thing. If you can help somebody lose weight and look amazing, help them get lean, your program's going to sell very well. You don't really need to ask people like, do you want to lose weight or do you want to get lean? Like everybody wants to look lean. Everyone wants to look beautiful. So that's that's a proven one. That's a highly desirable, quantifiable end result, right? Because you can quantify, you can see how much weight someone's lost or, or how much muscle they've built. Okay, so that's number one. The second highly desirable quantifiable end result that sells really, really well is some form of relationship help. So either helping people get into a relationship or helping people save a relationship. So helping people get dates on Tinder or helping people not let their marriage fall apart, like helping people like reconnect spouses. That, that sells really well as well. The third highly desirable quantifiable end result that you can help people get. This one is like the best in terms of the ROI potential. It's helping people either make or save money. If you can help somebody make money or save money, you will do very, very well. That offer just works every single time. It's highly desirable and it's quantifiable, okay? Um, the fourth one is, this is an interesting one because it's something that all humans really need, but for some reason they don't want it as badly as they want the other three. But I'll put it in this category because it's um, it's definitely one that still works. It just doesn't work as well as those top three typically. And this is the the highly desirable end result of being healthier in general. So like getting rid of pain or getting rid of digestive issues or getting rid of you know certain symptoms. Now the thing about the thing about this offer is um, it can lead to the first one. It can lead to weight loss. It can lead to better looking body. It can also lead to better relationships. And it can also lead to making more money because the person's healthier, they're more productive, right? So this ties in nicely to the second thing I'm about to say. And that is it doesn't matter what your highly desirable end result is. It doesn't matter what you want the highly desirable end result to be. 
All that matters is what the customer wants a highly desirable end result to be. So you could pick something as strange as like, uh, as far as a highly desirable end result. You, I mean, you could pick you could pick an offer as strange as like, I'm gonna help you. I'm gonna help you. Um, Keep your house more organized. Let's just say uh, use that as an example. I'm gonna help you keep your house more organized. Now, you may want to help people organize their house. You may want to help people be minimalist and keep their house tidy and clean, clean, cute, and organized, tickety boo. But it's not gonna sell as well as if you said, "I'm gonna help you make more money, or get a relationship, or look amazing," and I'm gonna do that through. The, the path of keeping your house clean. So you can create some program that helps people lose weight, helps people make more money, helps people get in relationships. And the method of choice is keeping the house clean. You can say, look, by keeping the house clean, you'll be more attractive to the opposite sex. Or you're going to be more attractive to, to attracting you know, your, your ideal partner, same sex or otherwise. Also say something like, by keeping your house clean, I'm, it's going to help you make more money because your spice is going to be clean, therefore your mind's going to be clean, therefore you're going to be able to get more work done, be more productive, make more money. Or if, when your space is clean, it makes you want to keep your fridge clean. When your fridge is clean, your, your diet is clean. And when your diet's clean, you lose weight, right? So you can tie pretty much any offer back to one of those top three highly desirable, quantifiable end results. And again, when you have a, quanti a highly desirable, quantifiable end result, you don't really need to do that much market research because they're just all proven to sell really, really well, okay? Now, the third thing I want to mention in this video here is the best way to do market research, from my experience, is just to put out, and not just my experience, but just what I see other people doing works really, really well as well, is just to put out posts, put out videos, put out posts on Instagram, and put out offers, put out links to your funnel, send out emails, sending people to your funnel, offering them a free download, offering people a free download. Because if people don't take you up on a free download, that helps them get the thing that you want to help them get, chances are they're not going to want to buy from you either. If you can't give someone give something away for free successfully, how do you plan on selling it successfully? All right? So if people don't download something for free, they're probably also not going to be buying it either. So the best way to do market research is just to put out offers and say, hey, I've got this free thing. It's going to teach you how to do this thing. If you want to get the free guide on how to do it, link in description, link in bio, swipe up, go to this website, whatever. And when people start downloading it, you can then see, wow, this has got some real interest. People are downloading this every single day. So it's doing well. If I can get a free download every day, I could probably make a sale every other day or something. The, set, the next best way of doing market research is to invite people to a free class, host a free webinar. In the same way you put out a, a free guide, give people a download, you put out a free webinar and get people to opt in for that. When people opt in for that, if people aren't opting in, there's no desire. So you know right away, there's a market research. People are not opting in. People clearly do not want this thing that you're teaching in this webinar. But if they do opt in, here's what gets really good. They go through the, they will opt in, they watch the webinar. At the end of the webinar, you get them to book a call. On the phone call with them, once they watch your webinar, this is where the real market research takes place. Because this is the, this is the, the, the sales call or the discovery call or the strategy call that they've signed up to get after the webinar. And the only reason they're on this call with you is because they might want to buy your program. So talking with people who are on the verge of buying your program, these are the best people to talk with because they're actually interested. So you've already proven that like you have an interest for your product or service. They're actually interested. And the most obvious question of all is taken care of, which is like, do are people actually interested? That's checked off. But now you get into the, the nitty gritty juicy stuff, which is like, okay, if you are interested, What's actually holding you back from pulling the trigger? What's actually preventing you? What, what mental block do you have that's preventing you from putting your money where your mouth is? Or what mental block do you have that's preventing you from trading a bit of money so that you can get this epic result that you say you want to get? Because a lot of people who say they want to get an epic result, but they don't put the money up to prove it. They're not actually all in. It's just lip service. So getting on these calls with people allows you to really understand like what mental blocks they have and what's actually stopping them from, from joining. And I typically learn more from the calls when people don't join than I do from the calls from people who do join. Uh, the people who do join my program, yeah, I get to work with them. I get to do market research within my academy. But the people who don't join my academy, I get to learn so much from them on the phone calls 
because I'm like, wow, they, people, this person actually believes that creating a course is difficult. They actually believe that um, nobody wants to buy things from them. They actually believe that this is going to take too much time, right? These are like these, these mental paradigms people have that are preventing them from actually signing up and, and achieving their dream results. And so now I can make videos like this on YouTube talking about how time is like, time is a funny excuse people use because we can all find time. We can all make time. So I can make a video about time. I can make a video about the best things that actually sell. I can make a video about how the tech is never actually a problem. How you, we can take care of tech problems just like that. You don't need to be a tech whiz to make a lot of money online. I can make videos about every single objection I get on the phone call. I can make YouTube videos about it and I can just start helping people on YouTube overcome these mental blocks themselves. And so you can do the same. The best market research you're ever going to do is when you're on the call with the person who's on the verge of buying. And all you have to do to get to that point is just say, get people to go opt into a webinar. In the webinar, teach them a ton of really cool stuff that's going to help them achieve that result. At the end of the webinar, you say, if you want help implementing on everything you just learned, book a call and uh, we'll help you get set up and maybe do some coaching with you if you're interested. That's it. That's how you do market research and that's how you find out what's really, really, really going to sell. Um, I hope this video is helpful. And one thing I want to mention too at the very end here before I forget is if you if you have an offer that's not weight loss related or looking good related, it's not relationship related, and it's not making money related or saving money related, you can still enter one of these three categories. You can still enter one of these three categories by teaching or selling something else that ties back into how the person can make more money uh, have a better relationship or have a better looking body. You can still tie it into that. But even if you can't tie it into that, or even if you don't want to tie it into that thing, I totally understand. That's fine. You don't have to. You can still sell decently. You can still probably make between you know five grand. You can still make around five grand a month if, if you know what you're doing in the marketing aspect of things. But once you start making five grand a month, it would be very wise for you to turn around and then start teaching people how you're doing the 5K a month. So it's called the leapfrog effect, and uh, this is—it's a very common way of doing it in like the health market and the health niche. Like, if you want to help people transition to a vegan diet or eat more raw foods or something, you can do that, and you can make five grand a month with that. But then, once you've been making five grand a month for six to twelve months, turn around and start teaching other vegans how you're making the five k a month, and that instantly puts you in the apex position of teaching people how to make money online. So that's it for now. I hope this video was helpful. Uh, I know we covered a lot. If you want more help with this, you want, you want in-depth free training, I'll post it in the description of this video and uh, you can learn how to crush it online even further in that in-depth training. All right, peace out, much love. Ciao for now.